we are going to stop at one point and talk about a little bag as you notice on the back of Denise's bag she stopped on the back of her back as we're walking keep walking <laughs> thank you very much dear as you can see on the back of her bag on the back of her back she's got a, a new bag and she's testing it out and trying it out it's more of a photography related bag and it's from KNF so we will stop and do a separate video just about the bag but this is about testing it out really and seeing what she's like with walking with it Everybody so knows come on hate yeah she hates bags so. she normally has a rucksack on her back as you've noticed okay so we've We've just found a little bit of a, a patch on the pathway where we're actually out of the wind and the rain for a little while. Um, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to talk about this that I have on my, on my back. As you know, Paul was sent um, a bag from KNF Concept. Um, I don't think it was it's specifically for photography. It's more of a backpack style. Um, but I thought I'd give it a try because I think most people know by now I hate carrying weight on my back when I'm I'm not into all this. I'm unlike Paul who likes to carry, you know, the equivalent of two small people on his back when he goes out doing his photography. I don't, I hate it. it takes all the fun out of walking for me. So but with this, we I'm not quite sure. We've probably walked about four or five miles so far. And I have to admit, this there's not many there's not many bags that I feel comfortable with, this, with having the chest strap on. I know that they're supposed to be there to help take the strain and, and everything else with the straps. I hate them. Um, this one, I have to say, does not make me feel restricted at all. It's, it's there, I can still swing my arms. Everybody, you know, you've noticed, you've seen me when I'm walking, I swing my arms. And it's now gonna chuck it down with rain again. Go that way, dear. Go that way, I'm going under the bridge. <laughs> Paul always says about throwing your voice, well this time the bridge is going to do that for me, okay? So, things that I like about the bag, okay? Firstly, the straps, they curve around there, whether that's intentional or not, I don't know, but I hate the feeling of my arms being restricted, and because I do swing my arms so much, I, used to, I tend to go for a bag that's not going to rub my arm. This one doesn't, it sits quite comfortably on my back. Right. Take it off. Quite like the colour. It isn't an obvious camera looking bag. Um, you can obviously, you know, you, it can be used as a like a little rucksack. Um, I quite like, you know, I quite like the material, I quite like the colour. There's only a few things that I would say. Um, firstly, I, I like the bit on the bottom, because when you put it down, that's not going to be filthy by the time you get home. So I like the leather bit. The only bit I don't like so far, because I am using it as a photography bag, is to get in, actually get into the camera, okay, I have to put it down on the floor. So if it's muddy or a bit wet or anything else, everything on that side is, is going to get wet through and, or dirty and that's the bit that's going to go against my coat so that just gives me another job when I get home um, but I do quite like that's my camera bag it looks a bit messy to be honest but I just have one camera one spare lens waterproofs set of filters and the important bit, the chalky bickies Right. That's all I actually want and need in my camera bag. My batteries at the side, which are fully charged today. Um, I'm leaving the bottom one empty and uh, ready for dead batteries, which, you know, I'm doing quite good. There's not a single one in there today. So, can I ask you a few questions you just to keep you on the photography side of things? Just open your bag again. So Denise has had the bag laid out. She's uh, laid the bag out so it works for one camera and one lens. It comes with a big set of dividers and the dividers inside. She got me to configure it for her last night. And the reason is so she can have a, a big section in the bottom down there to put all her bits and pieces in. Um, so that's how we configured the bag. And on the flap of the bag, you've obviously got these pockets. Um, and I know Denise hasn't done many reviews, but we'd like to mention that we've got plenty of pockets in there and a memory card slot, which is underneath these little gray ones next to your hand here. Yeah? 
This one? Yeah, so you've got these little memory card slots, so you can put your memory cards in, and then you've got three plastic covered pockets where the zips are actually integral, so they're underneath, so they don't actually scratch your camera or your lenses, um, so they can hold all your batteries and your other gadgets and cables and lens cloths and things. So it's laid out inside the bag as you want to lay it out. There's lots of There's dividers that come with it. Dividers yeah. come with it. But for me, One spare lens, and the rest is just to keep warm and dry. Yep. It also, as well, you've got a flap on the on the back. If you see down the bottom there, there's a on the That's outside. The you've got a zip on the bottom. So if you want to put, she spun it round now. Turn it back round the other way, there. You've got a zip right down the bottom at the back on the front. Oh, this one. oh yeah, you've got yeah. a zip down there at the bottom. So if you want to put your purse or even you know put in easy accessible things on the outside, that's one spot. You've got two side pockets. The side pockets are designed to carry maybe a bottle of water or something where we've got our flask. And on the other side, you can see down there, it's actually designed to carry a tripod. So your tripod will actually clip behind the strap as well. Um, and what Denise was going to show you as well on the other side is you've got a laptop slot. And I think it takes a 15 inch laptop. Oh, we've got some people. <laughs> So yeah, the, the, the bag's designed to take a 15 inch laptop as well. And it comes with its own water oh, cover. Water. Um, it's got water, water you know, temp, um, the decent zips on it and everything like that. Also on the straps, I've noticed there's a couple of little hook eyes so you can clip on. We've got a whistle clipped on there, uh, but you can hook other things on there as well. And uh, it's got a nice foam padding. Pad it's, it's, it's actually, pad yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed really to let the airflow, isn't it? Back. It's supposed to be the airflow yeah. that runs through. Um, but I think you can tuck the straps on the inside if you're getting on like a, a plane or a train or something like that as well. So you can tuck the straps in behind. So I think that's one way of tidying it up. Right. Sorry for interrupting, dear. No, that's all right. Like I say, when people do these reviews, um, I don't go into great detail because I just, I, I just, yeah, it's comfy. It does what I want it to do. There's plenty of space. Um, I don't want extra space to fill up with rubbish. So for me, that that's actually quite... Quite a good bag. Quite, quite a good bag. bag. Yeah. Very good, good bag. Good. And you can easily just throw it over. Very good. Okay. So there. Let's go. Done. So you're going to wrap it up? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Not thanks for watching, thanks for looking. If you want to see some more reviews and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to. Thank you. I have my gloves. There's her gloves. Okay. Right, I'm going to flip round. She hates talking to the camera, doesn't she? Let me just wipe this. I've got some water spots on there now. And we've got a rudely interrupted, not rudely interrupted, where she stood under the bridge because it was raining, weren't we? And there's some people come along. And it is raining now, so before we walk off, I think we're going to put our waterproofs on because we're going to get wet. Um, we're actually on a circular walk around our local town at the moment, so check that one out if you want to. And uh, I'm going to wrap it up for her. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and check out some other reviews if and I things that we've done. Much. Yeah, don't say, you didn't have to say too much, much no, but you just wanted to get it all in. This is a one-shot shoot. This is a one-shot shoot, Denise and her KNF concept bag. And I'll put all the details in the, in the description below. There'll be a link for the bag in there. Mm. And obviously the name and everything we've been putting up on the screen while we've been watching, and all the information and details, sizes and stuff for you as well. Well, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to see how she got on with talking to the camera. I hate did she talking, do all right? I hate talking to the I camera. I think she did all and right. He knows that. <laughs> right, I think we need our waterproofs on because okay. it's definitely see, it's, it's definitely raining. So we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the other videos, some proper landscape stuff, or maybe some other reviews. Till next time. Ciao. Bye. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the rain <laughs> coming sideways.